Hi everyone, welcome back. We are going to look at two more eggs that are part of the Easter story today. I hope you enjoyed yesterday's uh, eggs with Miss Dawn. And so let's go ahead and get into it. The first one we're going to be opening is this green one. Not this one or this one, but this one. Okay, let's see what's inside. Oh, I don't even know what this is. It looks like a piece of leather. Hmm. Let us read in the Bible and see what that could be. All right, we're going to be reading in the book of John, chapter 19, starting in the beginning. The Bible says, Then Pilate had Jesus flogged with a lead-tipped whip. The, sh the soldiers wove a crown of thorns and put it on his head, and they put a purple robe on him. Hail, King of the Jews, they mocked as they slapped him across the face. Ooh. Pilate went outside again and to the people, I'm going to bring him out to you now, but understand clearly that I find him not guilty. Then Jesus came out wearing the crown of thorns and the purple robe, and Pilate said, Look, here is the man. When they saw him, the leading priest and temple guards began shouting, Crucify him! Crucify him! Take him yourselves and crucify him, Pilate said. I find him not guilty. The Jewish leaders replied, by our law, he ought to die because he called himself the son of God. When Pilate heard this, he was more frightened than ever. He took Jesus back into the headquarters again and asked him, where are you from? But Jesus gave no answer. Why don't you talk to me? Pilate demanded. Don't you realize that I have the power to release you and not crucify you? Then Jesus said, you would have no power over me at all unless it were given to you from above. So the one who handed me over to you has the greater sin. Then Pilate tried to release him, but the Jewish leaders shouted, if you release this man, you are no friend of Caesar. Anyone who declares himself a king is a rebel against Caesar. When they said this, Pilate brought Jesus out to them again. Then Pilate sat down on the judgment seat on the platform that is called the stone pavement, in Hebrew, Gabbatha. It was now about noon on the day of preparation for the Passover, and Pilate said to the people, Look, here is your king. Away with him, they yelled. Away with him, crucify him. What? Crucify your king, Pilate asked. We have no king but Caesar, the leading priest shout back. At more than any time, these dark and evil days were scary and sad for the followers of Jesus. The Jewish leaders had brought Jesus before the Roman go governor in Judea, Pontius Pilate, and defended himself for claiming to be God. Because Jesus claimed to be God, they said he was an enemy of the Roman Empire and of Caesar, its king. They wanted him sentenced to death. Can you believe that Pilate put Jesus to death? But before he did, he told his soldiers to scourge or whip him. At any time, Jesus could have stopped the trial, the whipping, and even his death. But he wanted to do the will of the Father. And so he did nothing, and he said nothing to defend himself. In the Bible, a long time ago, it was foretold that Jesus would be whipped and beaten. In the book of Isaiah, it says, I gave my back to those who would strike me and my cheeks to those who pluck out my beard. I did not cover my face from humiliation and spitting. And Isaiah also says, he was pierced for our transgressions or breaking God's law, and he was crushed for our iniquities or our sins. The punishment for our well-being fell upon him, and by his wounds we are healed. God allowed his son to be whipped in our place for our sins. Jesus didn't deserve to die because he had never sinned, but we have sinned. Jesus died in our place for our sin, even though it was we who deserved to be punished. So this right here is the whip that Jesus was beaten with. Now let's go to the next egg, which is this yellow one. And inside it, we have what looks like a crown of thorns. Hmm. 
Let's see what the Bible says about the crown of thorns. We're going to be reading this time in the book of Matthew, chapter 27. Let's go to my Bible, Matthew 27, and we'll start in verse 29. It says, They wove thorn branches into a crown and put it on his head. And then they placed a reed stick in his right hand as a scepter. Then they knelt before him in mockery and taunted, Hail, King of the Jews! And they spit on him, and they grabbed the stick and struck him on the head with it. When they were finally tired of mocking him, they took off the robe and put his own clothes on him again. And then they led him away to be crucified. Can you believe that some of the same people who were praising Jesus as God a few days before, when he rode into Jerusalem on a donkey, were now treating him like a wicked person? They decided that if Jesus really was God, he would save himself from having to die. But Jesus had made it clear to the people that the Father's plan was not what they expected or wanted. God's amazing plan was to save sinners by allowing his son, Jesus, to die on the cross for them. Yet people chose not to believe Jesus and rejected him. We should never believe others when they tell us that Jesus is not God. And we should never be mean or treat someone badly just because others do. We should always do what the Bible tells us to do. And the Bible tells us we should always love others because this is right. And this is the way that we show the love of God. The Roman guards did not love God. They rejected Jesus as God. They teased, they taunted, hit, and even beat him. They made a crown out of sharp thorns and put it on his head and then kneeled before him and teased him by saying, Hail, King of the Jews, even though they didn't believe he was a king. And then they spit on him and took a strong hollow stick that they called a reed and beat Jesus on the head. They crushed the crown of thorns into his head and they caused him to bleed badly. Ouch. And still Jesus showed them the love of God by forgiving and praying for them. The Bible says that if you love God, you will love others. So if you don't love others, you show that you really don't love God. Remember too, that when you experience the thorns of other people's hatreds towards you, the way that Jesus responded in love, even when he was hated and treated terribly. So I know these stories are kind of hard to hear, but it really happened and Jesus went through these things so that we could have forgiveness of sin and that one day we could spend eternity with him in heaven. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed hearing a little bit more about the Easter story. Be sure to tune in tomorrow where Miss Dawn goes through two more eggs. Bye.